Okay, hi there YouTubers. This is uh, what I said that I would show later on today. I've <clears throat> been working on my uh, solar tracker slowly, little by little. This is my newest one. It's a uh, SA for single action, one, one five for 115 square foot of panel area. And what I've done to it, uh, I have made some changes that you probably can't tell by looking at it. One of the most important ones has been I've taken the angle from north to south. It's now able to go almost 70 degrees, which should work just about anywhere in the country. Uh, that, of course, required other changes, which you may or may not be able to see where or how I made them. Another change I made was in the north-south axis adjustment, or what I also like to call my high wind feature. And I'll demonstrate that if I can put this camera down. All these things I've designed over and over and over again. <coughs> I'm trying to get them to work really well. And, uh, it's really not that easy. But if you had all your panels on, you loosen this bottom down all the way down. The top one would go here. And this is set up just the way it is so that it pivots very easily. So if you had a high wind event, you would merely set this to the table. It's not going to go all the way because of this board, but it will go up here. If you can see it, it will go all the way to zero degrees. It just this board won't be on your pole, so that's why it's not doing it. But it works really well. I redesigned the geometry. I upgraded this uh, shaft right here. This all thread. The reason for that is uh, some people that have bought these from me have stayed in pretty good contact with me. And uh, I did have a reported failure of this screw. And it was at over 70 miles an hour. And actually, this screw bent. And that was on a six panel setup. So we had full six panels going. And actually, you can see it on this channel. I'll give them a shout out. It's the Wicked Gesture. Wicked Gesture. The name of the channel. He did a nice uh, job of showing how he set his up. But he did have a failure, so I've uh, enlarged this uh, device. So that shouldn't happen again. Again, they go really easily. And I've made numerous other changes which won't be visible to the eye. But it's been a long time coming. I've got this one and I've got one other one. I'm seriously kicking over the idea of uh, putting this one up in my own yard, buying some more solar panels. Now one thing you don't want to do, this uh, is a little cheap actuator. I use it to set up my uh, trackers. You're going to need a nice heavy duty 2 inch, They're generally about 2 inches thick. Um, I know uh, Windy Nation sells a nice one. I've probably sold 8 of them for them. And all the people that have them haven't had any complaints. And then I think that uh, the Venture, I think, is another one. And uh, they're all going to be about in the $200 range. But they're going to be about twice as fat. You just can't use a little actuator like this on uh, a solar tracker this big. It's just not going to work. So, uh, anyway, that's the newest creation. And I'll see if I can set this down probably going to be a very shaky video, and I'll just run it through a, a little bit of its travel for you so you get an idea. But this will hold six up to 300 watt panels. I think I'm going to buy uh, six 280 watt panels. I'm just going to run it through the uh, Ryobi battery 18 volt, just to show you. Now, if this was uh, heading to the south right now, it would be tipping to the east. And right now, it's looking at the east, so it's tipping to the north. It's just the way it's sitting here. And I always want to be south. And of course, if you reverse the wires, it goes the other way. Whoops, I guess I reversed the wires. There it goes the other way. Now, something else I did. 
that I thought was a good idea at the time. I made this unit where it pivots approximately 165 degrees. This piece of metal will actually come over here and hit this, and that one will hit this side. It sounds good on paper, but it actually doesn't do a damn thing for you. Anything more than a 45 degree angle. I don't know if you can see that. You tilt your solar tracker when you're going 45 degrees, you're really not going to gain any power out of it. Uh, you know, I've got four of them in my yard. I watch them every day. And, uh, as a matter of fact, right before my battery died in the previous video, I reset them all to 45 degrees. I had them going over 60 degrees. Basically, all I did was make a big wind sail. And uh, for you to tilt your panel 60 degrees, the sun is so low in the sky, it's not making any power, so there's really no benefit. So I would suggest sending them at 45 degrees, 40 degrees especially if you're going to have six panels on it. So anyway, that's the update. I'm very happy with it. It's turned out really well. You have no idea how many hours I have redesigning that thing. It looks like such a simple piece of metal, but it's uh, really fairly complicated to make it work properly. So anyway, that's the new uh, tracker. And like I said, I got one more. I just got to put it together. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.